Well, continuing this part, well, we have now already the view student the way we want it, and also the view classes. Let's start with the view students. Um, what I want to put in here, one thing I forgot to say is that you, you can actually put whatever color you want here. Um, if you just type a background right here, uh, let's get this. Oh. background whatever color you want it if you don't want to just come here and type it you can just also come in here uh, background and change it let me change I'm gonna change that to white okay now it's white just do whatever uh, you can do many things here with the buttons with everything so yeah it's a good place to maybe take a look you know especially if you're a designer uh, WPF is really good for designers um, and here it is you know just all things I'm not a good designer so I, I don't want to worry about that so yeah take a look on that but one thing that we do want to do is make sure now that we have uh, whatever information we need per columns so for example I may need to view students I may need the student ID their name the first name the last name gender, GPA, I don't know, whatever I have in my database. So to do that, I'm going to have to create something inside of the data grid. Right here, I have a, a tag, my data grid. That is actually self-closing. Let me open this a little bit more. Uh, okay, here it's uh, self-closing. And I probably don't want to do that. So let me do this. Now let me close it right here. Uh, my data grid okay now I want to use another, another tag which is called uh, my let's see I think it's my data grid uh, let's see, my data grid dot columns okay right here my data grid dot columns that is going to divide in columns in as many as I I say it should it should do it so let me close that in here. It all right, close for me right there. Now, what I want to do is to create something inside of the the columns. Um, since I'm gonna have text, I can just have text in there. So here I'm gonna create. Uh, uh, let's see what I want. Uh, delegate text column. Okay. That's what I want to do here. And now uh, I want a header for each the columns. Um, let's start with student ID. And I also well let me let me be here for right now. I'm gonna have to explain about something else in a little bit. But as you see now we have this student ID right here. See that? Let me see. I think we can actually self-close this. I actually never tried it. Let me see what's gonna happen. Yeah, don't have it. just self-close it. So um, no, I'm just gonna copy that. I wanna also the first name, the last name, and the gender. So here, just put it here. First name. last name and gender okay it's looking the way I want it um, the way it is right now I mean that's uh, it's just a visual but I need to find a way of getting the information from the database and putting the right columns I mean here when I put the student ID first name last name gender I'm not even sure what was the sequence I put in my database. Let me, what sec, yeah, what sequence I put in there. Let me actually take a look in that. Uh, school, so tables, so my student. I actually have a student. It was actually in the same order, except I put the GPA, but I could change the order if you want to. 
here in the in the Visual Studio. You don't have it doesn't have to be that order. And how the program is gonna know that it's exactly when you in fact put the put the binding which the name itself says it's binding it's it's actually getting something from somewhere and putting there. It's binding there for you. So let's type here binding. Here we got oh what happened? Okay, here I have binding, and so here's the syntax for that. Use the binding, and then you wanna you're gonna use binding again. Uh, okay, that one I'm gonna have to type binding, uh, and then you wanna put path. What is the path that is going to equal the student ID? Even though it seems it's not liking, let's close this here and see. Oh, gotta close that. Okay, it's not liking it. Um, let me see, I think this must be cap capital. And I misspelled in here. Binding path. Let me see if this has to be capital or not. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now I did the binding for the student ID. So whenever I bring something from the database in this column, it's going to be showing the student ID uh, that I refer to that student. Uh, what I want to do now is just the same for everybody. So I'm just going to copy that. Control C. Uh, the only difference now is that I want to bind to something different and make sure this is the actual name of the field in the database okay so we had the student id we have first name all together so we want to make sure we put here first name um for this guy here we had We have last last name and we also wanted the gender so and I think we have yeah we just have gender here you go if we don't put the binding if you don't put the binding here it's not going to give you an error, but the information is just not going to be showing. So, yeah, you got to make sure you do that. Let me save that all here so I don't lose the, that information. Um, and now what I want to do is make sure I get all these students in here whenever I load this this window. Uh, I want to go to the viewstudentsdemo.cs. Uh, we already have the window loaded here, so we're just going to do some code in here. The first thing we want to make sure we do is um, to connect to the database, of course, right? So, uh, we call our database, if I'm not wrong, it's cool. It was just cool. I actually forgot. Let me take a look in here. It's cool data. Um... If we actually look at okay, yeah, it's school data. If if I if I do a control space, it should be showing. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> since I create my DBML in the business project, and I'm dealing with this in the e school uh, project, I'm supposed to to add the business here. So I'm just gonna do it using. Come on. So using business, okay, let's see now, if I come here and counter space, okay, you see that now, so it's the school data, data context. So I'm just going to create an instance of a connection. So I'm going to call this um, data equals to a new, okay. All right, and what um, 